if you are using one of today's high performance ESCs, uh, like the Little Bs, the RG20s, the, uh, the UBADs, you know, any of these ultra small, uh, very, very high performance ESCs with the, with the active braking and uh, yada, yada, yada. If you're using one of them, your copter's electrical system is a mess. These things put so much noise back onto the system. I've heard Quad McFly talk about how he's seen as much as four amps of reverse current from the active braking. Uh, it's just a mess. And this can really wreak havoc with your equipment. Some people have experienced with the little bees specifically. Uh, there's a batch of little bees or maybe all the little bees where the capacitors on board don't seem to be working as good as they ought to. And so much more of the noise is actually getting into the electrical system. And some people have experienced that their video transmitter or their camera is getting fried by, by this noise, right? But regardless, if you have one of these modern high-performance ESCs, you probably ought to add some capacitance to your electrical system. Uh, and what that means is that you get a capacitor and you solder it as close to where your main battery lead connects as possible. And the recommended choice for capacitor is something like this. This is a 25 volt electrolytic capacitor. It needs to be a low ESD. Another way of finding a low ESD capacitor is uh, the, look for the 105 degree capacitors. They're almost always the low ESD. And uh, 1,000 microfarads is, is what to go for. 1,000 microfarad, 25 volt, 105 degree or low ESD capacitor, okay? And you can find a bunch of these on eBay is a great place to get them. Uh, just buy a pack of 10 for, buy a pack of five for a dollar, buy a pack of 10 for two dollars, five dollars, six dollars. They're not real expensive. And you basically just take the negative leg and you solder it to your negative battery lead and the po a positive leg and you solder it to your positive battery lead or rather where they attach to the PDB. And that helps smooth out some of this noise. Uh, if you have a video transmitter, it will also, it's not as good as an LC filter, but it's, it's better than nothing. It'll help remove some of the noise from your video signal if you have some of that. And just generally help protect all your equipment against this buzzsaw back and forth current that the ESCs put onto the system. Now, I've, I've recommended a 25 volt one here. That's going to be good at least up to 4S. Uh, the thing to keep in mind with, capacitors is that they're subject to voltage spikes, transient spikes. So you might think if you had a 3S system that a 16 volt capacitor would do you because a 3S system is never going to go above 12.6 volts, right? Well, that's not true. These, these transient spikes can be very significant and you would generally want to derate a capacitor. Uh, the industry standard I've read the best the best practice is to derate by at least two and maybe even three times the voltage. So for a, a 3S system, you might want a 36 volt capacitor, right? And for a 4S system, you, you want, you know, whatever, like a 60 volt capacitor, maybe 50 volt is what they come with. Real, realistically, uh, I, I find that that's usually not followed to the letter. So I would not want to run a 4S system off a 16 volt capacitor because even the battery's resting voltage at full charge is going to exceed that. But 25 volts seems to be in practice good enough for a 4S system. And if you really wanted to cover yourself, you could go to a 36 volt capacitor. The difference is that these 25 volt capacitors are something like, they're like 10 millimeter by 20 millimeter. And the 36 volt capacitors are usually uh, 12.5 by 25 millimeter. So they're going to, the 36 volts are going to be a little bit bigger. So it's up to you. Uh, but yeah, if you have a modern high performance ESC on your copter, you really, could, you really should just go ahead. It's, it's like four grams of weight. You could probably afford it and just install this somewhere as close to the main battery lead as you can. Uh, and, and you'll be in good shape. Okay. Uh, it's best practice is going to help help your equipment not fail as much. It's going to clean up your video signal and just generally make everything better. All right, there you go. Happy flying.